I'm Claudio Contreras Co, and I'm a photographer from Mexico. I do nature and conservation issues. These images, it's intimate. It's an intimate portrait. It's a portrait that uh, I, I think makes the, the chick look vulnerable. So for these images, I started three o'clock in the morning or so. I had to cross a lagoon because Flamingo Colony nests in a protected site, which is like a small islet inside uh, the lagoon. And you cross that lagoon by night, and when you get to the other side, you, you can hear that they are there, um, but you don't see them. And when I was at a distance of about less than 100 meters, I started crawling on all fours with a camouflage blanket on top of myself and when I could see them I could see their reactions to, to, to my presence and I could see that there was no problem if I if I really made it slow 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 you have to get them to accept you and just as if you were a stone or something like that and you get to see the characters of some birds which are more friendly or others are like ah, don't touch me and, and so on no image is as important as the creature that you're photographing or as the environment that you're photographing no image is worth the destruction or harassment of what you're going to photograph it, it is very important in this kind of images to work uh, together with a biologist who study the, the colony and who, are, who take care of them because it's very easy to disturb um, a nesting colony and, and the consequences are, are really fatal. Learn the behaviors of what you're going to photograph. They, they have a language and they're always telling us what they think, but we have to understand that. And that's helped by a very slow process. Give yourself a lot of time to return and return and return to the places so you can understand the cycles of life and death in the place you want to photograph. Another thing is always, we're always thinking about going to, to photograph elephants and uh, beautiful things that are out there. But you can go in your backyard and find conservation stories over there and beautiful things that are in the details, not, not so much in the, in the big grand scale. But in the details, there are lots of things to see.